it's noisy. We are going to blossom. We're gonna try to go over the back. Cloud base is low, but it should be worthy to make it somewhere other than just El Cap back. It should be fun. I picked up this, uh, this hitchhiker. Tacos. Gosh darn it. So my harness is all jacked up. I can, the only thing I can do right here is land and fix it. Oh my gosh. Schoolboy error, I forgot to latch my lower Part and I had it all tangled up in my freaking harness. So I'm just kind of boating around out, out away from the uh, face, working some really light stuff. And then I'm gonna try to get up and go to the rock pile. All right, found something strong at the rock pile. Okay, so we're over the back. The first hill that we're gonna go to is um, right in front of me here. The wind direction is uh, southwest. So I'm thinking that it's creeping up basically. I'm basically flying with the wind on my back. And the hope is that we can get up over there and then keep going, pushing, uh, pushing towards the estates, which is the next range to the right of this mountain in front of me. Pretty much nothing but sink all the way from leaving the back. I'm down to 2,500 feet above sea level. And I don't even know if the altitude is up here, but I'm getting low. So I'm gonna try to work this spine right here. It's, it should produce something. Let's see what happens. Here, 
back to launch. Gnarly sink. Wow. Dude, I fell out of the sky. Good. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I was really, there was a lot of sink right here. Just nice guy over here. Saw me land right here and he was like, oh, I just want to make sure you're okay. It was a pretty gnarly landing. We'll have to look at it from Dave's perspective. I think he had his camera out. Ivan's still boating around up there. Anyways, I'm gonna pack up. So Tribal is uh, took my ID. They want to make sure I don't have any warrants or anything. Pretty funny. So I gave my ID. I told him, okay, I'm gonna come over here and pack up my crap real quick, and then uh, we'll be on our way. Hopefully, he don't harass us. Tribal enforcement came by, come to say what's up. Uh, they saw us here come and land, make sure we're okay, and uh, they're gonna hook us up with uh, some direction. All right. Outlaws. Outlaws. Oh, that's Jeez. nice. <laughs> yeah. They're all the same, huh? Yeah, did all right. So now we're Ubering an Uber. So then we can adjust it once we fly it. Yeah. That. That's basically what we're going to do. So, Tribal hooked us up with the ride. Freaking awesome. You guys are awesome, by the way, if you're watching. Thanks, man. I haven't picked up any paragliders, but I picked up other people out there, so... Yeah. Zha Zha. Zha Zha. And Zoe. And Zoe? Is this a puppy? Zoe. Yeah. Actual little tiny puppy. Okay. Yeah. So. What is this? Yeah, go that way. It's right here. All right, we got up to 2400. I'm gonna get on the speed bar and go to El Cap again. Hopefully we can touch the clouds again tonight. Should be the same type of setup. All right, finally getting up at El Cap. Thermals are a little bit smaller than they were earlier. A little more punchy. Found a nice climb to 3700 or yeah, 37. Now I'm gonna go on glide. I'm gonna head back over to there's Stiber. in this rotary area these mountains are too low probably all right well that's now how I thought it was gonna end but it did so I landed in some guy's backyard and uh, I got hiked back up the GoPro died before I made it there but I was just too low and uh, got to pay a price of hiking back up. Not a big deal. I'm not parked at the top. I'm out the, uh, I'm just at the bailout. But uh, anyways, I'll call it a day here and uh, go and get my exercise. So see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. 
have a good one make sure you subscribe if you haven't done that already and like and all that other stuff so we'll see you on the next one have a good one